Okay, today we're going to install Windows 7 Ultimate Signature Edition Steve Ballmer, the 32 bit, onto a Lenovo R500. I've already ran the Windows Upgrade Advisory Tool and it told me that this Windows 7 Ultimate will run perfect. So what I did was installed a brand new 250 gigabyte SATA hard drive um, so we can put it on a fresh hard drive. So let's start that now. Here's what the disk looks like. Oops. Windows 7 Ultimate, 32 bit. Pretty neat. Ooh. Genuine copy. So let's control out delete this unless it picks it up. It might. Looks like it is. So it's going to go through the whole process of loading the files. I'll show you the folder it came in again. Pretty nice. Can't really read that. There's the key. Here's the instructions. Insert Windows 7 installation disk. Follow the instructions. It's pretty simple. If you need any help, there's help on in the folder. System requirements says Windows system 1 gigahertz or faster for the 32 bit, which we're installing. 1 gig of RAM. You need to have 16 gigabytes available of uh, hard disk space for the 32 bit. Direct X9 graphics processor uh, or higher driver. Okay. Pretty neat startup. And then the regular installation asks you what ink, what language, time and currency, keyboard, next. Install now. Accept the license terms. Custom. There's nothing on here. We could uh, make a partition, but we'll just install it on the C drive. And this is going to take a few minutes also.
So we'll come back when we get a little farther in the installation.